You know the Great Wall in China? Yeah, that one. They rebuilt that in the 1950s out of a crumbled ruin, but would it surprise you to learn that there is a second Great Wall that has only recently been rediscovered and is still not popularized? You heard us correctly, guys. Wait till you hear this. In India, a Great Wall exists that has apparently been sitting in plain sight in the most densely populated country on Earth, but no one seems to have noticed. This sounds crazy, but it is true. The ancient site of Kumbhagar is possibly the best kept secret on the entire planet, certainly in India. This place is epic, consisting of a fort that is 23 miles long and encircled by a 50 mile long continuous wall, making this the second most significant wall on earth and only the one in China being more substantial in thickness. The wall ranges between 20 and 50 feet and stands an incredible 3,600 feet above sea level. The wall itself stands anything between 20 to 30 feet tall and it is thought the purpose of this wall was to protect 300 or so temples within the heavily fortified complex. It can be dated from around the 4th century of being a place of major strategic importance, but it was not until around the 15th century that India's ruler ordered the massive complex to be a permanent structure. The legend surrounding how this place was envisioned is that of alien origin. Ranakumba, the Indian ruler, was apparently visited by a divine being who channeled thoughts and advice to the ruler regarding the construction and importance of this place. This sort of stories are very similar to other stories like the building of Angkor Wat or the invention of the iPhone, for example. There is always a story of a visitation, either contact or reaching a different realm during dream time. This place is largely still unknown despite its massive presence. No one really knows why this is. It is as if humanity is only beginning to awake and notice the surroundings on this great planet. Taking around 100 years to construct, the wall brought great wealth to India. A fun fact about the huge complex being that in its heyday, it was brightly lit with thousands of candles at nighttime, allowing local farmers to work either day or night, or both if they chose. Just like most things we read about, we take information presented at face value, much like the claim that this place was constructed 500 years ago, but what if this was not the case? What if this place was 1,000 years old, 2,000 years old, 5,000 years old? How do we know for sure? Retired archaeologist Narayan Vyaz is one of only a few people to carry out extensive research at this site over the past 10 years. His conclusion? The timeline of the building here is completely false. Vyaz claims some of the temples alone are dating to the 9th century. In a recent interview with the Hindu Times, he says, This could have been the border of the Parmar Kingdom, referring to the Rajputs that dominated West Central India between the 9th and 13th centuries. He suggests that the wall may have been used to mark their territory against the Kalatras. They fought a lot, and the wall was probably a Parmar effort to keep them out. Vyas also admits that this is just speculation for now, and that further research is needed in order to prove these theories to be historically accurate. All we need is evidence to confirm what we suspect, that we found the remnants of a thousand-year-old realm. It makes sense this place is far older. Think about this. 500 years ago, they began building this mega structure. It took 100 years to complete, and then after a short period, it was completely abandoned? Come on now. We will leave it at that for now, guys. Possibly bring you part two to this one if you like. What are your thoughts on the Great Wall of India? Comments below, and thank you for watching.